Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to Cover By in LA, where today we're going to learn the story of this strong woman living with an illness, yet she continues to thrive as the owner, director, producer, and instructor of a dance studio. We're also going to be meeting some of her students, and they're going to be dancing for us this afternoon on the show, the right mix of entertainment and information for you. In information, we have some tips for you financially. Those who may need and uh, or who may have a need for debt settlement, we're going to be explaining that to you also today on Cover By in LA. But before anything else, let's talk about immigration update brought to us by Aquino and Low Law Office. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Low Law Firm, answering your immigration questions. Attorney Allison Aquino, hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. Hello, Janelle. So Labor Day is over and now we're getting to closer to the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So typically, a lot of Filipinos go back to the Philippines around Christmas time. Exactly. And what are the risks involved for people that are traveling? Well, um, right now is holiday season and people need to start preparing for their holidays. And as you mentioned, um, it's right around the corner, yes. Thanksgiving and Christmas. And really what people need to start doing, first of all, is planning okay. to determine whether they are eligible to go, whether they can obtain um, what's called an advanced parole document in order to let them travel, or if they're a permanent resident, if there are certain risks involved with, with traveling. Okay, advanced parole document, who needs it? I, I remember uh, if you are a student visa holder, or a work visa holder, these are the types of people that need advanced parole document, am I correct? Actually, if uh, those who are here on a non-immigrant visa, like an F visa or an H-1B, they are not eligible for the advanced parole document. Oh, wow. They travel on their non-immigrant visa, so the F or the H visa. Okay. The advanced parole document is actually a travel document issued by the Immigration Service, not the U.S. Embassy, okay. and it's available to individuals with adjustment of status applications. And as well, recently, as you, as you know, the Deferred Action um, for Childhood Arrivals, they will also be entitled to obtain advanced parole documents. How difficult is it to apply for advanced parole documents? Um, it's not so much difficult as it is time consuming, and so that's why right now is the time for people to submit applications if they plan on traveling during the holidays because it does take about two to three months. Processing. Processing time. And um, does it mean that when you apply, you're automatically granted? Um, it's not an automatic grant, but naturally that's why you need to take a look at the law and see whether you are eligible. Um, if an individual has a pending adjustment of status application, they are entitled to obtain an advanced parole document, and in that sense, it is somewhat automatic. Um, because immigration does not want to necessarily bind the person to just stay here in the United right. States. Um, and actually, this is a new, a new development that just took place earlier this year. Uh -huh. um, historically, most people know and think that you're not supposed to leave the country until you legalize your status, until you've resolved everything. Just to be until, sure. Just to be sure. Right. Um, and actually, until you get your green card, that was, that's been the historical way of thinking. Um, just earlier this year in April, there was a new case that revolutionized that and completely changed it. And so a lot of people don't realize that if they do have an adjustment of status application pending, they can now obtain an advanced parole document and travel. Um, and a lot of people have been stuck since about 2006, 2007. There was um, an ability to file an adjustment application, but then the priority dates retrogressed. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are still waiting for their adjustment applications, and it may still take another one or two years in order to be decided. Right. So advanced parole is, very imp is, is a very important document that gives them a little bit of freedom. Right. And is it only a one-time travel? No. Okay. It's, um, the advanced parole document can be uh, used multiple times. It's generally issued for a one-year period of time, okay. sometimes two. Okay, so it's for vacation, people getting married in the Philippines and you need to go, or you want to go tour, you know, somewhere in Europe, or whatever, then you can do that, right? Yes. But more importantly, most people get advanced parole documents for fun, mm -hmm. but more importantly, many people have been stuck in the U.S. for 10, 15 years. They oh. haven't seen family. Right. They have elderly parents who they want to go and visit. They mm -hmm. sometimes have graduation of children who right. are left behind that they need to go see. And so now this does give them the opportunity and to take back a little bit of their lives. Okay. Yeah. And it's not the case, however, for permanent residents with certain convictions because it's not you, – no, you, you may not advise that. Or, uh, exactly. Or yeah. Well, any permanent resident who has a criminal conviction, they definitely need to seek the advice of an attorney because what people don't understand is that when you travel outside of the United States and are reentering, mm -hmm. 
When you're re-entering, you're actually applying for admission into the United States. And a permanent resident with certain convictions can be denied admission into the U.S. And actually, a lot of people, they don't realize because they may have traveled in the past. Right. And they never experienced any problems. Yeah. More recently, immigration has been better. Sure. They've been they've been able to discover people's criminal histories okay. a lot more now up than to, they were in the past. Up to three to ten years ago. Oh, longer than that. Really? Absolutely. Wow. wow. A criminal conviction doesn't disappear. Uh -huh. So even if it's 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they can it may still come use up. it against you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. What are some of those convictions that? Um, anything drug related, anything domestic violence, of course, anything that's a felony, you mm -hmm. need to be concerned about. Even um, a repeat multiple DUIs you need to be concerned about and so any individuals with those particular problems like I said in the past they may not have experienced problems but now at the border they do have access to a lot more databases and they may experience problems now and that's why you need a lawyer that's the information on the screen call attorney Aquino uh, uh, attorney Allison Aquino now Aquino and Lowe law firm they also have an office in uh, San, Mateo. Uh, San Mateo thank you so much for sharing that information with us today and uh, again, website on the screen, if you also want to consult with them via email, they do take that as well. Thank you so much and more power to you. Debt settlement and financial tips when we return on the show, don't go away.